we don't see um, sodium lighting or discharge lighting of any sort or fluorescent playing a future in tunnel lighting. LED has improved dramatically in performance terms and cost reduction over the many years and is now ready and able to take its place firmly in tunnel lighting. It is the answer and it should remain the answer for many years to come. What you have to consider is that this type of light source could cause glare and you should take some measures against that. And also you should keep an eye on the color temperature because we know if it's getting more bluish you will um, experience more glare. I think there will be a big benefit totally and uh, to, to, due to this situation um, we believe we are now in the early stage where the replacement and refurbishment of tunnels will be a great success in the future. These optotronic drivers will be, I think, a main driver to enable more LED, reliable LED, in this high-profile application. We see at the, the, the lighting uh, of a tunnel, a uh, different kind of lighting, of course have something to say about the traffic safety. So, so what kind of technology, what kind of uh, is available is of course important to make traffic safety even better in the tunnels in Norway. I think LEDs are ready to use in tunnels. Uh, they are in use now for say four or five years. Uh, in the beginning we had some difficulties in designing and using LEDs in the right way. But uh, you can see that uh, the developments are uh, leading to to better uh, results, uh, but I think there is still room for uh, further development.